Hello everyone. Let us see the first question in exercise 1.2 from NCRT book 6th grade. Now let us see the first question in this all word problems. First word problem is a book exhibition was held for 4 days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second and third and final day was respectively 1094, 1812, 2050 and 2751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. See here is asking to find the total number of tickets sold. So this total represents to find the sum. It's easy to understand. So we need to add up all these four numbers which are number of tickets sold on all the four days. We need to add them to find the total number of tickets sold on all these four days. So let us write the first statement number of tickets sold. on first day which is equal to it is a four digit number so write thousands hundreds tens ones exactly arrange all the numbers in an order so that all the numbers will come in an order too easy to add so write the next statement number of tickets sold on the second day number of tickets sold on second day which is given 1812. So, 1 under thousands place, 800, 1 under tens place, 2 in the ones place. Next, write number of tickets sold on the third day. Number of tickets sold on third day, which is given 2050, 2 in thousands place, 0 in the hundreds place, 5 in the tens place, 0 in the ones place. Write one more statement, number of tickets sold on fourth day. Which is 2751. Arrange the numbers carefully in an order so that it will become easy to add for you. So let us add them all. 4 plus 2, 6, 6 plus 1, 7, 9 plus 1, 10, 15, 20, 2 carry up, 0 write down, and next 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 7, 17, 1 carry up, 7 write down, next 2, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 7,707 are the number of total tickets sold. So write the last statement as to the answer, total number of tickets sold on all the 4 days. This will be the last statement. This is your last statement. So the total number of tickets sold on all the four days is 7,707. So let us go to the next question. Here the second question is, Shaker is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6,980 runs in test matches and he wishes to complete 10,000 runs. So, how many more runs does he need to do? How many more runs? How many more or how many less? This word represent is a subtraction. Okay. So, how many more or how many less? Whenever you see in a question, he is asking you the difference. Here you need to find the difference of 10,000 runs and 6,980 runs. He has already done 6,980 runs and how many more he needs to make it as 10,000. So 6,980 plus what gives you 10,000? That is he is asking. It is nothing but the subtraction. So let us write the statements like this. Number of Total number of runs to be scored. Total number of runs. To be scored, he wants to score or otherwise, which is 10,000, right? 10,000 first. And next, number of runs he already made, he already scored. So, write number of runs scored in test matches. So, this is right under this 10,000 carefully that. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands. These are the places he has given. And you are going to write six thousand. Thousands place, write six. Nine hundred and eighty. Under the last three digits. 
and now do the subtraction so gives you 0 minus 0 0 this 0 minus 8 means it is 10 minus 8 which is 2 and this gives you 9 which is 0 9 minus 9 and next this is also 9 and this is 0 so 9 minus 6 is 3 so 3020 so these are the number of runs he wanted to still make so number of runs more he need this is the answer 3020 let's go to the third question now let us see the third question in an election the successful candidate registered 5,77,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? Here two members are there whose votes are 5,77,500 who wins the election and the nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes. He is asking you the, to find the margin. Margin means how many more, how many more can, how many more votes did the successful candidate gets so he is asking you the difference again so write down this is nothing but subtraction again so write down the number of votes received by or secured by number of votes secured by winning candidate which is 5 lakh lakhs place 5 77 thousands period and the last ones period 500 0. next statement number of votes received by or secured by nearest rival another candidate which is 3 lakh 48 thousand 700 write down the numbers exactly one after the other to easy to add, subtract now write down the next last statement is by what margin he is asking you by what margin did the successful candidate win the election so we can write the statement as the number of votes received or secured by secured more by winning candidate how many more that winning candidate receives so right let us subtract these two numbers 0 0 5 minus 7 not possible let's borrow this is 6 this is 15 15 minus 7 8 and 6 minus 8 again not possible let's just borrow once again 6 and this is 16 16 minus 8 is 8 6 minus 4 yes you can do 2 and 5 minus 3 is also 2. So, 2,28,800. These are the number of votes received by winning candidate more than the rivalry candidate who lost. Let's go to the fourth question. Let us see the fourth question. Kirti Bookstore sold books worth 2,85,891 rupees in the first week of June and books worth 4,768 rupees in the second week of the same month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together and in which week was the sale greater and by how much? Observe these all points in this question. He has given the sale during the first week and in the second week and he is asking you to find the total sale together in the two weeks. That means you need to add. Together shows that to add. The word together shows add. Together, S-U-M, sum, all together. These all words represent addition. And in which week was the sale greater? How much you observe this? First week 2,85,891 and second week it is 4,768. Obviously, the second week the sale was greater. So, you have to write the second week the sale was greater. And by how much? By how much more? How much less? This all represents subtraction. So, here you have two things to find here. So, one is addition and one is subtraction. So, let's go to the statements. Let us write the statements. The first statement to write like... Sale during first week. Two lakh rupees. Two lakh 
85,891. Next, second statement, sale during second week. Which is 4 lakh 00,768. And let us first find the total sale in two weeks together. So let us add these two and write the statement total sale for the two weeks together. This is the statement, last statement for the first part of the question. So let's add this 8 plus 1, 9, 9 plus 6, 15, 8 plus 1, 9 plus 7, 16, 5 plus 1, 6, 8, 6. So the answer is 6 lakh 86,650. And this is the total sale for the two weeks together. And now he's asking second part of the question. In which week, in which week the sale was greater? The obviously second week. So write down second week the sale was greater. In the second week, write down in the second week the sale was greater. And how much more you need to subtract now? So more by, you write in the second week the sale was greater by, write the difference. 4 lakh 768 minus 2 lakh 85891. Let us subtract these two things now. By writing here, I'll write 4 lakh 00768. Next, 2 lakh 85891. Let's subtract these two things. 8 minus 1, 7. Is 6 minus 9 not possible? 16 minus 9, which is 7. And 6 minus 8 again not possible. Borrow nothing, nothing. So from here we'll borrow. 4 becomes 3. Middle zeros becomes 9. And this becomes 16. 16 minus 8, 8. 9 minus 5, 4. 9 minus 8, 1. 3 minus 2, 1. So the answer in the second week, the sale was greater. By how much? By how much means? 1 lakh 14,000. 877 rupees more than the first week. So, we'll go to the fifth question in the next video. Follow my next video for fifth question.